campers. Today I have for you yet another revolution haul. I've done a couple of revolution hauls on my channel in the past and yeah I've got another one today. Like third order, oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't you tell I'm like having a massive skincare and makeup overhaul kind of thing. Well let's see what we got in the box this time. So I have this great big huge box, once again, absolutely stuffed with products, there's some skincare, there's a few makeup-y bits, there's, uh, what's that, oh, um, the bill, I don't want that now, we'll deal with that later. First up I have the Revolution Skincare Blemish and Pore Refining Serum, this one has 10% niacinamide or nicacinamide, Ugh. I can't pronounce that. Nyath thyanoid. No, <laughs> that thing. Niacinamide, I think. Niacinamide. I think so anyway. Anyway, that and 1% zinc. Basically, this helps to reduce the look of blemishes and pore. Um, yeah, as you can see on my face, a couple of little blemishes all over the cheek, and then I've got some quite enlarged pores on my nose, which are quite prone to blackheads. So hopefully by applying this to my spots and to my uh, enlarged pores, hopefully it will help to make my skin look a little bit better. This one is the 60ml, so this is a super size kind of version. The regular size is like 30ml, and I think this cost me about £10-ish. It's £10. Yes, yeah, I think, I think, I'm sure it's £10. But anyway, this is a super sized bottle, and I thought, well, sod it, let's just get a bigger bottle, because why not? And you get, so I can get it open, because it's a bit stiff. Little dropper, little pet dropper thing. Yep. It doesn't really smell of anything. Actually no, I can smell it on the pipette, it's kind of, smells a bit like cleaning fluid, smells a bit like cleaning fluid. Look at my face, I don't know if I'm but oh, it's like a really thick serum. Mm. So yeah, it, it's a nice thick serum and I'll let you know how I get on with this. Next up I have the Revolution Skincare Vitamin C Moisture Cream. I'm in dire need of a new Vitamin C Moisturiser because I'd used the Paul Mar one from Asta and Revolution have this one on offer. It's quite a skinny little bottled thing. It feels like quite cheap plastic in your hands though. I kind of, well I suppose that's kind of be expected for the price isn't it? A little pump on the top. Question is, does it actually smell of oranges? No, it doesn't smell of oranges. My last one really smelt like oranges, like really, really orangey. But, ooh. That's a really thick moisturiser. Okay, so it is now starting to smell of oranges now I'm spreading it out all over my skin. But it's like, hmm. Quite an artificial orangey kind of smell. It is like a super thick and feels like a super rich moisturiser though, so that's good. It says on the packet, enhances natural radiance, energises and hydrates. Well hydrates it definitely does because my skin felt kind of dry. Now I've put this on, it feels like really really moisturised. I have like one randomly moisturised patch and then the rest of it's not dry. This would probably be a really great moisturiser to have like under your makeup so before you put on your primer dot a bit of this on is it, it it is really thick and it does like settle into your skin quite quite quickly this one is just got been absorbed straight into my skin no stickiness or anything so that's good that's not something I, I expected actually from the thickness of this moisturizer because I find that thick moisturizer tend to sit on top of my skin in a layer even if I use like a tiny tiny amount but this is sunk straight in so that's really good Next up I have a foundation, I actually haven't got a powder foundation and um, with like the summer and the heat and everything I kind of thought well liquid ones tend to melt off my face so perhaps I'd be better off with a 
powder one and again for when I kind of want to have like a no makeup-y kind of day I can just sort of stick a bit of foundation powder on rather than daubing the uh, liquid one on and so I picked up the Revolution Pro powder foundation it's it's in shade F3 but this looks really dark uh, so on the website F3 says it's for really fair skin tones with pink undertone which is like me I have very pale skin and very pink undertones but it looks like really dark on the top of the box like it's like nowhere near dark, but it's like nowhere near like the shade of my skin at all it's rattling around inside this little box So this is like the little compact inside and for some reason mine isn't closed properly. Why are you not closed properly? Uh, it's supposed to be a compact and the mirror is kind of like stuck in the pan. I'm sure it's supposed to be stuck up here where the sticky, not even sticky stuff is. But hmm. Okay. Ow, that's really sharp. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, so the edges of this mirror are really sharp. Ow, 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 ow. I'm going to put this down somewhere because it is literally really sharp. And yeah, it looks kind of like it's all fragmented off and chips at the ends. And ow, ow, ow. Ow. That's sharp. I actually have like bits of mirror stuck over my fingers now. This is the colour. I still think it looks a bit dark for me. And then in the pan as well, you do get a little compact, spongy, circular thingy. I've never actually used one of these before. That smell, that really smells like rubber. Ugh. Now, I would ordinarily swatch this foundation, but on the plastic cover, there's like all little shards of mirror, so I'm, I'm not going to bother. This one is going to have to be sent back, I think. And uh, yeah, I'm going to need a new one. So, ah. Pass on this one, I'm afraid. Next up, just because it wouldn't be a revolution haul without any face masks, I have the um, Jake Jamie Strawberry Donut face mask and the Jake Jamie Radiant Glow face mask. This one, it's got quite cute packaging on the top with mango and coconut on the top. I think this one, if I remember rightly from the website, it's like mango and chia seed or something. Again, it's got those. Ooh. That smells really nice. It smells like it smells like mango, but then there's also like a cereal kind of thing to it. it oh, it's like quite. This one isn't very liquidy. This one's quite a thick thing. Oh, there's like little bits in it that like exfoliate. Oh, what's it like exfoliating my skin? But only like a light exfoliation. I guess that's like the chia seedy bit. But it does smell really nice. It was very tropical. Like this is, this is like summer when like I'd literally pop this face mask on like after the end of a hot day, and then I'd go and sit outside with like a gin or a glass of wine and just watch the sunset basically. And, oh, it smells so nice. It smells like a shower gel I had once from the Avon book. But that one smells good. That one smells really fresh and really summery. This one has on the top of it a big strawberry donut with lots of sprinkles on it, and it's the strawberry donut face mask. Like, oh, literally, this is like, if Homer Simpson would wear a face mask, this is the face mask that he'd wear. It's like, don't look. Again, it's like really, really thick inside. It's like, yeah, really thick. It smells really nice as well, again. It's like really, really strawberry. It feels like, it actually feels and looks like strawberry mousse inside there. Little bits of, it's actually got like little sprinkles in. There's like one stuck to my wrist now. This one's like really glittery. Look, I think you might just about be able to see that it's kind of like glittery. A little bit glittery anyway. That's going to be interesting when I put it on my face. I'm probably going to look like I've like face planted like a plate of donuts or something stupid like that. It does feel incredibly moisturising. Actually, they both feel incredibly moisturising. And they're making my skin feel very, very smooth, even though I've only used a tiny amount. 
so that's good. I'm looking forward to trying those in a new video, so watch this space. Next up, I have the um, I Heart Revolution Overnight Lip Mask and Lip Balm. This one is quite a new product. Um, it's only been on their website for the past couple of weeks, so I'm looking forward to trying this. Um, it's got quite nice embossed like lip things on the top and uh, inside. Take that same thing. It just kind of like looks like a, a big thick pot of lip balm. It is quite a bright Barbie coloured pink though, and it does smell really like watermelon. Let's like try a bit. It just like looked bright pink on my skin oh, when I first dot it on, but yeah, it's kind of like now it just kind of looks like a clear balm. That's that's good. That's good. It does feel really moisturising. It is quite thick, obviously, with it kind of being a lip mask. So I kind of like put it on before I go to bed, and then I like go to bed in the morning. Hopefully, I'll have nice soft lips. And I could definitely see myself using this during the winter when my lips get horrendously chapped. I can just bung this on, and then hopefully my dry chap lips will be history. Originally I did want the, um, I think it's called the Watermelon Popsicle Lip Mask and Scrub that I Heart Revolution also do, but whenever I go online to get it, it's like out of stock. So in the end I've just gone for this instead. I wonder if I like this better. Next up I have another eyeshadow palette. For somebody that like didn't do, <laughs> hadn't done eyeshadow like about six weeks ago, probably a bit more than that now, but yeah. Um, I now own another eyeshadow palette. This is the I Heart Revolution Galactic Chocolate Bar Palette and yeah, it's super duper shiny. It's very similar to the um, other one that I've got. I can't remember what it's called, but, but again, it's a chocolate bar kind of themed one. This one, again, it smells like chocolate. It smells a lot like chocolate and yeah, all the, uh, shades that like all spacey which is super cool like look, look at cosmic crush Ooh. well that obviously got sort of the mirror didn't it <laughs> oh dear i mean just look at cosmic crush and solar flare they look like really marbled and really cool let's swatch a few of them i suppose i've got to swatch solar flare haven't i like Need a bit of blue and then I'll go for outer space which is like a purpley tone oh wow look at that they're so shiny and glittery this palette does as well include some mattes so compared to my other one which is just like solid shimmer there are some glitters and there are some just normal kind of mattes oh what else should I go for I suppose I've got to like swatch space queen haven't I Oh, look at that that's like really really pink oh, that's super cool and then there's two quite dark ones that I'm intrigued by there's like far far away and black hole so this is far far away and that's well wow, that's like really dark that's really black it's black but it's got like multicolored glitter in it and wow look at that look at that and then there's black hole that one also looks black in like the palette and well, it looks black inside the palette. Look, look, look. That is black hole. That is black hole. It looks black. But it's gone on my... Then I've swatched it. It's kind of like a dark purple slash burgundy browny kind of colour. And then if you tilt your... Tilt my wrist in the light, then you can, like, see. It's like a iridescent -y kind of glitter. And it's like, goes through greens and purples and... Wow. I really like that one. That one might be my favourite. But that's gonna look super cool. Oh no, shadow look. Hooray, I can finally do a Star Trek look like my Star Trek name. Hooray! Because I did like a whole load of purchasing uh, while Revolution had an offer, I got another Join the Revolution gift bag because I spent over 35 quid. Which is a lot of money. Now, let's see what's inside here. So, first up, I have the Starstruck Triple Baked Highlighter. It looks like star shaped. Wow. This is from I Heart Revolution. Ooh, there's a box inside a box. This box is like really, really nice. It's like rose gold and it's super shiny. Oh wow. 
look so this is the highlighter inside and yeah it is rose gold and it's very very iridescent unfortunately i think this is just going to be far too um it's a warm toned for me but let's see oh yeah looks well it is like super duper yeah i can literally see it's going to be it's very very iridescent but it's just going to be far too warm toned for me unfortunately you can see here there's like a kind of bright pink thing and I'm trying to blend it in and it's getting pinker and pinker it's just not going to work for my skin and rather than being like a highlighter it's like an eyeshadowy kind of glitter literally it's like the same kind of glitter in it as in what's in these eyeshadows that are also swatched on the back of my hand but there we are I have uh, a couple of people in mind who I think would really like this so I'll pass that on to them now next up I have the Pro Strobe Pro Powder, uh, Pro Strobe, Pro Powder Strobe and Contour Palette with a brush. It says achieve a professional finish with our guide below and it basically shows you how to contour your face. Only my face isn't this shape, this is kind of like an oval shape and my face is more sort of a cross between a diamond and a heart. This is the palette and then this is the brush. The brush is like kind of quite flat, but you can see it's like quite squared off and flat at the top. It looks completely different from the brush on the uh, box. Like that one looks kind of domed and more rounded and then this one's like it's all square at the top. It looks like the kind of brush I'd use for like contouring my nose or something. And then yeah, this is the palette. And can I get in? Yes, I mean. By the looks of things, I've got a few different kind of highlighters. It tells me on the back of this one's a shimmer highlight, a yellow highlight, a beige highlight, and I've got a medium contour, a deep contour, and a light contour. Ooh. Hopefully this these contours will be a bit less orange than the last contour kind of shades that I bought from Revolution because the last ones I bought were bright orange. And yeah, um, I really, really, really don't want to be wearing anything orange. It's the light one you can kind of like barely see. You can like barely see that at all on the back of my hand. So it's like barely there. Let's go for the deep contour. Well, that one's a bit, a little bit more. That one's a little bit deeper. It's not quite as deep as I was expecting it to be. It's kind of, again, also barely there. And the medium contour. I can kind of barely see this on the back of my arm when I've swatched it. It came from certain angles, but you just really can't see it. And I have like really pale white skin, so maybe it'll work for me, maybe it just won't. And then here we come onto the highlighters. So we've got the uh, shimmer one, which is probably just gonna, yeah, be a bit glittery. And there's a yellow one, which doesn't really look very yellow. It's just kind of like more glitter. Uh, beige kind of one yeah they just kind of like shine like normal highlighters really you can't really see a lot of color to them it just looks like I've used like a white highlighter for these swatches but there we are uh, I'll probably try this out properly in another makeup video do a full face and give this a proper proper go and have a go with this brush as well I have got like an angled contour brush and another couple of contour brushes but I haven't got one that's like quite as square as this because this one will be interesting to try out see if I can actually sculpt my cheeks with it a little bit better than my angled one or whether this one will just be resigned to doing like nose contour or something and next up we have oh I had one of these last time this is the uh, jelly highlighter in shade dazzling last time I had one the one in monumental and that was like a gold one and I remember thinking at the time, this would be great if it was in silver. And now, ta -da, I've got one in silver. Oh, sounds like all stuck to the lid. Oh, blimey. That's a lot of highlights. I didn't want to pick up that much. Yep, yeah, wow. Look at that. Look at that. That's like proper highlighter. Look at that. That's super shiny. So that's actually going to suit my skin tone a lot better because I've got quite cold skin, very, very like winter colouring. So silvers tend to work better than golds and 
and wow look at that look at that that's so cool Chad. that's so cool and it's so shiny this is going to be great it's going to be like absolutely perfect for me oh, i'm so pleased i'm so pleased although i look like a twilight vampire now with like spray spray all over the back of my hand i'm covered in so much like shimmer eyeshadow and highlighter i now look like my hands and my forearms now look like a trapped twilight vampire but there we go it's like a super strange texture though it literally feels like slime and you can like see in the packet it's like all slimy i probably wouldn't recommend applying this with a brush it might kind of stick your brush together because it is quite a sticky formula i think for these fingers kind of work best but they are like super duper shiny i think revolution do their highlighters exceptionally well i'm super pleased with this Next up I have uh, some Revolution Pro Magnetic Refill Eyeshadows in the shade Burnt. These look quite pinky and orangey, they are absolutely not going to suit me at all. Got an orange here, a pink at the top and then some like really warm copper kind of shades. They're just not going to be any good for my skin. I struggle with the, the, the coppery kind of colours that are in the eyeshadow palette that I have already. So I think these are going to be another thing that gets passed on to somebody. So I'll pass these on to somebody who will get a lot more enjoyment out of them than I. Titan in this, in the goodie bag, is, oh wow, um, this is the I Heart Revolution Flare, it says. It's, it's like a lip glossy, I think it's a lip gloss, I think it's a lip gloss. I think it's a lip gloss. And it's in shade Meteor and it's like this beautiful purpley kind of colour. At least I think it's a lip gloss. It might actually be an eyeshadow top, I think. Okay, it's fighting. Oh dear. I think I'm in now. Well, I can undo it anyway. This is so. You know, I think this might be a lip gloss. But yeah, oh, is it going to be quite dark purple? I think she's running out of space. Oh wow, that's like a real dark purple. Wow, look at that. That's going to look really, really good with um, this eyeshadow palette. That actually kind of matches. Like, Revolution, did you pick these products based on what I've bought? Because you've like, managed to match stuff to what I actually bought in my order, which is great. <gasps> That's super shiny. Look at that. Got some lots of glitter in it. Again, looking even more like a Twilight Vampire now. But yeah, I do think this is a lip gloss. I will do some research and uh, I'll probably find out that it's actually like an eyeshadow topper or a liquid eyeshadow or something, but there we are. So that was my Revolution haul and the Join the Revolution gift bag. So what was your favourite product out of all the stuff that I bought and shown you off today? I think mine, it would probably have to be this for out of my regular order, the Galactic eyeshadow palette, and then from out of the uh, gift bag would have to be the uh, high Daddy highlighter because these have been out of stock in this colour and I've wanted one in this colour and Revolution seem to have known and um, have now sent me one in uh, the gift bag so I'm super pleased. Thank you so much Revolution. So if you like this video don't forget to give me a little thumbs up, don't forget to say hi in the comments and if you'd like to see more of this kind of thing don't forget to click the little subscribe button. See you soon, bye!